Hey guys, welcome back to Mace RC. I'm Delaney and this is the Condor Build. But first you want to download the plans and that uh, link is down in the description box below. Uh, so do that first. Um, so now we're going to go through all the parts. You just have your uh, no, uh, regular uh, nose cone canopy. Um, just crease these and bevel along the sides. Um, you got your stabilizers, which you don't do anything to. Uh, part, also part of your canopy, just crease along these lines. Um, on uh, these, you just crease along the lines again. Um, canopy, I'm not done yet, and I just still need to practice my beveling, but I want to um, bevel all these corners and then um, uh, crease these lines inside. Uh, you got your spars, all you have to do is just break them and then put some glue in the middle and just sandwich them together. Um, you got your belly pan, and you usually, uh, you don't have to cut out your holes, I prefer that, but um, you can also take, like, just cut it out slightly and just dig it out with a screwdriver and then also crease it on the lines. Um, part of your nose cone, um, crease along these lines, take off the paper here so it's able to uh, curve and then bevel along this. Um, and then with the wings, you want to bevel on your control surface and then crease all along these. And then you got nothing here, so we'll start off here. It's two pieces and we're going to do the tape over method. So we're going to take a piece of tape and tape it over. And it's okay if it goes over a little bit, you can always Take a knife and cut that out. And you're gonna fold it over. Put some glue. And then glue it together. Tape. And just tape it back on the other side. Um, next, we're gonna um, tape them next to the or tape them on to the, um, this piece. And you're just gonna, I, I prefer to use a little tape because it makes it a little bit more stable when you're doing it. So just again, like the tape over method. This one's a little bit harder. So if you just get like a little piece and put some glue in it. Okay, so once you've uh, taped and glued both of these, um, you also want to make sure you bevel here. Next, you're going to take your spars and glue them in the middle and sandwich them together. Just sandwich them together. And if you have any glue pop out, take like an extra piece of tape or extra piece of foam board and wipe it away. You don't want to burn yourself. Um, and then you're gonna put the, them in these holes right here. So what I usually do is I just put um, a, a thin, a thin layer or thin line of glue right in the middle of them, and then push them down. Put them in the holes. Push it down and make sure it's securely in there. And then do it the other side. Part of the nose cone. And first we're gonna put a of glue right here, right here, here on both sides. And then securely fit this in here. Make sure you want to put them all the way in there and make sure to push them down and then just let them dry. Before you go any f further, we're going to put our servos in. So we're just going to um, put them in these holes. And we oversized the um, servo holes just a little bit to accommodate for um, different kind of servos. So you're just gonna throw them in there and make sure your wires go back towards the nose. And we're just gonna put some um, glue around the edges. Our wings um, on the wings, you want to make sure I just beveled on this 
um, and smash these with a pen and then bellow here as, long, as well as here. Um, so throw down some tape first and then we're gonna align our wing right there. Make sure you put the tape on it on the underneath. And then you're gonna throw some glue down. But make sure for this, just put a little glue right here because we're gonna work it over and then glue the other spots where it lays flat afterwards. So make sure you hold onto the tape. So this is what it looks like when it's done and underneath. And then we're just gonna do the same thing on, um, on the other side. Next we're gonna do um, these part of the wings in the front. So um, what you do is you just put it, um, just a tad of glue in it, not too much just enough so it sticks. And then you wanna fold it kind of like the airfoil, um, where it's straight, kind of like this part, where it's just straight out, and just hold it there until it is, um, I guess, um, cool enough or hard enough to um, maintain itself. The next, we're just gonna do these shoulder pieces. So um, before you do it, make sure that it fits, and you wanna make sure that um, it lines up with the airfoil, and so curve it, and. Um, make sure it lays flat at the end. And then when you're gluing it, you want to make sure put some glue at the end here and along the along right here to make it sure they stick together. And then some up here. tape here to make sure that seam is nice and fl uh, flush and secure. And then make sure you want to, how it comes down here, make sure you want to um, glue here and here just to make sure it's very secure. And the other one. Did the bottom of the nose cone, it's just like all of our other uh, plan, just put some tape on this and fill in the cavities with some hot glue and just let it dry and then pull off the tape. So next we're gonna do uh, the top of the nose cone. And um, so I already, we put some lines in there just to, um, you can crush with a pen and just helps with the shape. And you wanna bevel here. And then I also beveled right here because we wanted something for this to sit on because we don't want it to sit up and like, just sit up there and not have anything to attach to because that kind of looks silly. So, but I did uh, bevel it a little bit just so it can fit a little bit nicer. So what you wanna do is do a dry fit first and make sure so you know um, what to do when it's all ready and done. So like that. And then you're gonna throw down some glue just on the sides. And then you wanna start from the, for the front and tape it. And then just work your way to the back. Um, I just did my electronics real quickly, so I just put in my motor, and it's really easy with our motors. You just slide onto the motor mount and slide it in, um, and then glue it. And then I like to put all my electronics up through this little hole to keep this, um, this um, speed control um, up and able to breathe. And then I just have my <clears throat> my el uh, my ailerons and the elevator and the aileron, and then my throttle and just the throttle, and then my servos. 
I just have it um, straight and connected with the zip tie just to make sure it's all nice and straight. And then uh, once you're all done with your canopy stuff, just put it in and then wait for a nice day. And it's a nice day today, so I'm going to go out uh, and fly. And as always, guys, make sure you share your pictures with us. And I hope to see a lot of condors out there. So catch you guys next time. We are out here with um, Delaney. The last day for eighth graders. And we've got about 15 mile an hour winds, which is perfect. Because condors, what do they do? They like to soar, I guess. Soar, they, they fly. fly, and they fly over the prey. So my fifth period is the prey. <laughs> and we're going to hover over the prey. No, that would be against FAA rules, so we can't do that. right now you guys can go and take a look at download those and make those um, and like Delaney was saying in her uh, maiden video you're saying we should have some sort of like carbon spar or something down yeah. the wings just to help structure a little bit and then I think it would even hurt just by looking at what we did today by throwing maybe some barbecue skewers or something underneath those those lips yeah because you know. the foam board just kill away just from the paper right away yeah and I it's, it's too cool of a feature to, to just cut it off you know, I mean, it, it makes it look more like a bird, and that's pretty good. But Delaney, that's that's awesome. You did a fantastic job, and uh, download her plane. Have fun with it, and like always, share her stuff with us, or share your stuff with us, and uh, see you guys next time.